Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an NFS server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed NFS file server. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this page from where after accepting the agreement, you would be able to click on continue to configuration. And then you will be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So once that is done, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be brought to this page from where you get two different launch options. Now you can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this opens up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as NFS and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and choose the machine type or instance type according to your requirements. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. And then you can leave the network settings as default. Now once you are satisfied with these settings, simply click on launch instance and then wait for the virtual machine to be deployed. Now once the virtual machine has been deployed, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this simply click on view all instances and then you can see that the virtual machine in the running state is our newly created virtual machine. So simply right click on it and then choose connect. And then as you can see that we have the public DNS, we have the username but we do not have the password. So simply click on get password. And then it is going to ask you to upload your key pair. So simply click on choose file and then locate your key pair. Once that is done, simply click on decrypt password. Now you have your public DNS, the username and your password as well. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to hit windows and then type in remote desktop connection. And then you're going to copy this public DNS and paste it in front of this computer field. Then click on show options and then copy this username paste it in front of the username field and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So simply copy this password and paste it in this field and then click on OK. And then it is going to connect you to the remote host. So wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once inside this Windows Server 2019, simply hit Windows and type in Server Manager and then open up this application. And in this server manager, you want to create a new NFS share. Now for this, simply click on file and storage services. And then you're going to click on this shares button right over here. So now to create a new share, simply click on task and then choose new share. Now that is going to open up the new share wizard. So for the profile, I'm just going to go with NFS share quick and then click on next. And then it is going to ask you for the share location. So basically this is the path inside this virtual machine which is going to be shared. So I'm just going to go with C colon backslash and share. Now this share is also going to be the name of my share. So click on next and then it is going to ask you for the share name. So like I said, I'm going to name it as share and the local path to share is this one and the remote path is this one. But we do not have to worry about those. So click on next to move on to authentication. Now for the authentication, I'm going to go with Kerberos version 5 and also with no server authentication and then click on next. It is going to ask you about the host that you want to allow to access this share. So click on add and then you can add in the IP address of your client's virtual machine or your client's operating system. But for now, I'm just going to go with all machines and change the share permission to read and write and I'm also going to allow root access and then click on add. After that, simply click on next and then it is going to show you about the permissions to control access. Once you're satisfied with these settings, simply click on next. Then it takes you to a confirmation page. Basically, it shows you all of the settings that you're going with. Now, if you're satisfied with these settings, then simply click on create, which will create this NFS share. As you can see that the NFS share was successfully created. Now, the next step is to mount this NFS share on your client's machine. Minimize this remote desktop connection and head over to the client's machine. Open up the file explorer and then click on this PC. After that, simply click on computer and then click on map network drive. Now this is asking you for the server and then a share. 
Now for this server, we are going to simply pass in the IP address of our virtual machine. Now to get our IP address, head over to EC2 management console, click on your virtual machine and right over here you have the public IPv4 address. So simply click on this button to copy this address, head back to map network drive and start with double backslash followed up by the IP address of our virtual machine followed up by a backslash and then the name of the NFS share folder. In our case, the name was share as well. So type that in and then click on connect and then you need to wait for the connection to be completed. In case it asks you for the credentials, then you can get the credentials right from here. The same way we got the credentials for RDP connection. Now once the connection has been established, you can see that we are inside our NFS shared drive. To confirm it, we can see the IP address right over here. This is the IP address of our virtual machine. So that is how you can mount an NFS share on Windows operating system. Now in case you want to mount this NFS share onto Linux operating system, then simply click the link in the description box to head over to the blog post guide which contains the command to mount this NFS share onto a Linux operating system. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up NFS share on Amazon Web Services. And lastly, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.